Hello my dear Dantella so maybe you are thinking which topic today I'm going to share with you okay here is it it's constant temperature process but today I'm going to share with you expression how to find out work done in this process how to find out work done in this process in case of close system work or in case of this the another name of this is closed system work or non flow process non flow process okay now let me share with you another thing what is the other name of constant temperature process that is the other name of constant temperature process the other name of constant temperature process focus listen to me the other name of constant temperature process is isothermal process isothermal process uh, if you if you have studied or if you have been taught by someone at uh, this topic then definitely you have seen this delta t is equal to zero or you have also seen this that delta t uh, i mean t f minus t i is equal to zero this is f means final this uh, i means initial but today Today, I am going to share with you how to derive the formula for finding out work done in this process for this one. Sound interesting? Okay, let's go for it. So, I am going to draw a diagram. This is known as PV diagram. P for pressure and V for volume. Okay, let, okay now you can see. So here I am drawing a PV diagram, and this is a uh, now this is the constant I mean constant temperature process, and uh, this is known as rectangular rectangular hyperbola hyperbola hyper. Okay, I'm sorry for this. I, mean, I I hope you understand. You can listen to me too. Okay, now we know that according to ideal gas equation, PV is equal to MRT. If I will consider, if I will consider M is equal to 1 kg, that means I am considering, I am considering unit mass for finding out work done for constant temperature process or isothermal process. Well, wait, wait, wait. I am going to share with you another thing. How to remember that isothermal process is a constant temperature process. Okay. If you have if you are having little bit knowledge about engineering then you can get my point there is a branch in engineering that is it so what does that mean information technology but we can use a trick to remember this i means isothermal t means temperature that means in case of isothermal process the temperature is constant get it Get it, my dear? Okay, let's go to drive the equation. Now, we are having the standard formula W equal to P dV. The standard formula W is equal to P dV. Now, let's use the integration. Let's use the integration. What is it? What is it, my dear? It's Vi and Vf. Vi, this is, this is 1, that means initial. And this is 2, that means final. Okay? So, now let's do another thing we know pv is equal to constant okay so we can also say p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 p initial v initial is equal to v, p, uh, p final and v final also we can say because one means initial two means two means final we have to consider these things in case of thermodynamics or anywhere or any subject where process is changing to avoid confusion while solving numerical problems okay now let me let me share with you how to do here so we know that this is this that means that means p is equal to c upon v so just put this value here okay now v i v f c upon v dv got it now see let's just take this out because c is constant so v i okay v i v f dv got it now what i have to do okay dv is b is be there okay now as, as you know this is the concept of integration this will be natural log now c ln natural log vf minus v, i mean vf by vi and we know c is equal to what p 
V that means PNECL and VNECL ln ln or natural log I mean VF upon VI also this is the term I have written this term uh, this uh, this uh, formula as in the term of volume if you want to write in the term of pressure then how can you, how you can write that would be just nothing because we know we know P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 this will be reverse so PI VI IN sorry LN P initial by P final now remember my dear friend this is one of the best concept one of the best trick I am going to share with you best trick remember this formula while solving any computer examination because most of the time where we get confused that how to do it that means we know PIVI is equal to PFVF okay PIVI is equal to PFVF now VI upon VF is equal to PF upon PI if this is this that means this be reverse but how to remember if we forget all these derivation in the complete examination so how to do it so which one first come which one come and which values will first be initial and the next will be final just like volume v is final so what is the concept what is the trick i'm going to share with you just listen to me yes listen to me in english alphabet which one come first p or v p right so p for initial because it is first coming if you can remember this trick you don't need to get confused in any numerical problems well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye